Back again on the Wednesday Bookmark is best-selling children's author, former teacher who's gifted at writing in rhyme and prose. It's Laura Sassy. And last season, she was on to talk about her My Tender Heart Bible stories. And she teased a prayers book coming in the series. And it's here now, the My Tender Heart Prayer Book. Great to have you back, Laura. Oh, I'm so happy to be here, Care. So the prayers in this book are for everyday things. So going to school, eating, playtime, bedtime for children around the world. I like that they don't need to be read in any particular order. But which one did you start with? Uh, Which prayer did I, which was my first prayer? Yeah. Which one in the book kind of started things off for you? Hmm. Well, they all, they came in quick succession, but one of my favorite ones is the uh, counting wonders prayer because maybe because I spent so much time with my kids outside when they were Mm. little and we did a lot of counting of wonders. And so I wanted to make sure that I had a prayer and it was just kind of a fun, it was a kind of fun, fun that can be a poem or a prayer. So a good starting point. Yeah. Do you want to read it? I like that that one's a little bit different because it has the numbers in it. Um, sure. So yeah, well, I think we can read a few during this yes, conversation. Right. So, so just I'd love so to your hear. readers can visualize, it's um, there's a beautiful illustration by Sandra Eide of children exploring. Um, there's a house in the background of, of children exploring the world around them. So here we go. Counting Wonders Prayer. And it's uh, inspired by Genesis 1.31. One swirly shell two buzzing bees, three daisies bending in the breeze, four tiny prints, five shiny rocks, six acorns stacked like sturdy blocks, seven slugs, eight mushroom caps, nine ladybugs curled up for naps. And now 10 ants march in a line. Lord, your creation is divine. And then there's a little heart moment at the end, which is part of what It was intentional. And the heart moment is to get kids out and make the prayer theirs by going out and counting how many of God's creations they see on their walk in their Mm -hmm. backyard or at the park. I love that. How This has been a summer for me, and I think it's been a topic of conversation a lot, is that whole getting out into nature and God's wonder. So this is just one example, but how do you feel like these prayers actually do make things more real and help our young readers just see and discover God more? Well, the prayers are all just going about your day. You're not sitting in your church pew praying. You're not, you, you, you can, but you're not just sitting at the dining room table praying. You're not just praying just before you go to bed. You're praying throughout the day when you're in the car going on an errand, when you're at the park, when you're playing a, some sports with your friends. So it just brings God, God wants to be part of every moment of your day. Mm. And so that's my inspiration. Yeah. And each prayer, I mean, you even talked about it. It's all referenced by, uh, or sorry, inspired by a scripture. It's referenced there. But the rhyme itself, the prayer itself is just a poem, which I love. It's not like you're trying to take scripture and change the words around. And sometimes it's a subtle reference. A couple of my favorites, if I could share these ones, because I I feel like, and you can read them, but one of them would be uh, the getting dressed prayer, because you actually reference Colossians 3.12, clothe yourself with compassion. And you'd think, you know, the typical would be to talk about Ephesians 4, 6, where, you know, you're putting on the full armor of God. Um, So could you read that one for us? Oh, sure. I'm I'm going to let you do it because your voice is just so much better with reading (laughs) these. Tell me, Jesus, what is best to wear when I am getting dressed? These cargo pants? My monster shirt? A sparkly vest? A twirly skirt? It's fun to wear the latest fashion, but scripture says put on compassion. So, Lord, today I choose to wear love and kindness everywhere. Love it. And then the okay. heart moment is to so get good. think about how you can show love today. Yeah. Well, elaborate more on the heart moments. If you if people didn't hear the first interview that we did about these, uh, there's a personal tie-in. You used to do these with your own kids. Can you explain a little bit more what they're for? Okay. So I started the heart moments with my tender heart Bible. And because with my own kids, when we were little and I would, when they were little, excuse me, I was grown up when they were little and we shared a Bible story together or had that, that time together with God. At the end, I wanted them to, to own it, to have some sort of response to it, a heart moment. So that's why I call them 
heart moments. So in the Tender Heart Bible, there's a heart moment of response and prayer after each story. And in the Tender Heart Prayer Book, there's a heart moment to help, as I said before, like to help children make the prayer their own, like personalizing it in some way. You know, for the eating breakfast prayer, then you can name the things that you ate for breakfast and things like that. So yeah. and the sparkly vest and the cargo pants, those were all things my kids like to wear. So I figured, you know, those are fun kid wear. So <laughs> relatable. I, I felt it immediately with my toddlers. <laughs> okay. So I, I've, I've said this before. I'm a fan of your writing because I feel like you don't go with the easy rhyming words. You don't go with the obvious choice sometimes. Um, so are you going to run out of rhymes and ideas or does it just keep coming? <laughs> Well, so far it just keeps coming. I love, I love rhyming in unexpected ways. Mm. I, I love the challenge of it. And, uh, and it's something that I, that's really important to me to have the rhymes be fresh and different. So like fashion and compassion, you know, yeah. you might not necessarily think of that, but it's fun. I have a rhyming dictionary that I gave myself for my birthday. Oh gosh. Oh, a long time ago now, because I've been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm the kind of person sometimes in the evening, I'll just page through that rhyming book. It's fun to look at the words. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's something that's part of you. It really is. I mean, you have to be, it has to be in your DNA to kind of, I don't want to use the word obsess over it, but to make it just so much a part of your life, even when you're not working. So yeah. It well, and show you it. know, as my kids will have, they have been mortified over the years. I sometimes will rhyme just in conversation in front of their friends. And that <laughs> I think it's better than the, the parents who correct grammar all the time. You know, we all have friends that do that too. Oh, okay. yes. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> so as we wrap up, because I do want to hear about another project that's coming, really quickly tease the devotional, but also tell our listeners about this resource that you've also created to go with this book. Oh, okay. So so coming next fall, so in fall of 2024, is going to be my Tender Heart Devotions. And that's going to be 52 devotions that can be read just like the prayers in any order, but that you can read once a week if you want to. And each of those is a, 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 a poem based by on a concrete object or concept, a short poem, that then segues into a devotion that's inspired by a scripture passage, and then ends again with the heart moment and a, um, a Bible verse. So this is, this is all the same age group, right? This is all like oh, yes. four to seven. All the same age group. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. But that's yeah. a thick book. I mean, that's, I think it's yeah. like 112 pages. So Amazing. that'll be the biggest toddler book. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, so the resource is if you go to mytenderbooks.com and you can bookmark that if you want, because all the books will be coming through there. Um, you can go and there's a place to, it says, get your free downloadable, your free printable. So we've put together, um, I had the idea to do a 30 day prayer challenge for little ones and their families. And it doesn't have, it does not have to be done in any order. You can just color the boxes as you go. And it's just fun ways for kids to pray. Pray while you're jumping. Pray while you're drawing with chalk. Do different things as you're praying. Do an echo prayer. Different, 30 fun ways to, fun ways to pray. Yeah, and, and then there's also a prayer cube and there's little cards that you can print out. And so you could pray for someone and then deliver the card to them. Little ones can do that. So this is going to be a parent child activity, I think. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, it's another great board book for kids with rhyming prayers for everyday things. My Tender Heart Prayer Book by Laura Sassy. Laura, great to have you back. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> 